the Kenya Commercial Bank has offered to buy 100% of National Bank of Kenya through a share swap of one KCB share for every 10 of NBK shares. The deal that has been okayed by the Central Bank of Kenya seeks to give the troubled lender a financial lifeline after a loss-making streak. The share swap deal puts the value of National Bank at 6.6 .6 billion shillings. The deal has attracted the eyes of the National Assembly with Public Investment Committee faulting the deal. The PIC says they're conducting investigations on the proposed takeover to determine whether the interests of the pensioners, employees and taxpayers have been protected in the deal. What is important, all right, and to the eyes of this committee, to the eyes of parliament and to the eyes of Kenyans, is that you are holding public money, public money has to be audited. That report, the signature that is going to be presented to this house, has to have the signature of the Auditor General who is sitting at that particular time. After failing to honor PIC's summons earlier, the top management of the bank finally appeared before the House Committee to, among other things, shed light on NBK's shareholding, asset base, liabilities, and the takeover bid by KCB. The management has faulted the audit by the Office of the Auditor General, saying it's not a public lender. The listed lender is 48.1% owned by the National Social Security Fund, while National Treasury owns 22.5 percent of the lender the rest is owned by the public the parliament committee has directed the bank to provide its books to the auditor general for a thorough audit given the aog's office 14 days to table an audit report on the financial position of the bank